This video shows you how to use the VAT summary in Debonair to overview your VAT status to ensure everything is in order before you attempt to submit subsequent VAT returns. It's important that you check this before you attempt to submit your latest VAT return so that you can be sure that everything is in accordance with your expectations. When you log into Debonair, go to the VAT option in the top menu here. In the drop down that appears, choose the first option, the VAT summary. This summary provides an indication of where you stand with regard to your VAT reporting. The VAT summary has three sections. The top section shows you how much output VAT and how much input VAT has been accumulated in the current accounting period and shows from which bank or cash account it was recorded in. The middle section shows you which VAT returns have been reconciled on Debonair. Any amounts that are reconciled are prevented from going on a later VAT return. Thus it's important that this should be in line with what you understand to be the situation with your returns that you have done hitherto. If you believe that you have submitted a VAT return, but this is not shown in this summary, then you will need to run the VAT return again on Debonair and ensure that it has been reconciled to prevent the prior period figures being reported again on your next return. Please see our video on how to run your VAT return on Debonair, which shows you where you can reconcile a VAT period. It's also important to ensure that any VAT period that the summary shows has been reconciled has been correctly accepted by HMRC. To do this, log into your VAT online account with HMRC to ensure that the latest return that you have lodged is showing there. Once you are happy that both Debonair and HMRC are in line with each other, in the third section it shows you the value of any output VAT and input VAT that remains in the system that has not yet been reported on a VAT return. If you check the summary just after you have completed the bookkeeping for the final month of the VAT return you have just submitted, then you would expect this to show that there is nothing left to report. If you check it at a later time, after you have entered transactions dated after your last VAT return, then it will show you how much output VAT and input VAT is currently in the system awaiting submission on your next VAT return. And that's it for checking your current position in the VAT summary. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you receive notifications whenever we upload new videos to help you. Bye for now.